Hello, my name is Joe, and what we're going to be looking at today is how to create character variation or increase character variation inside of Lyra for Unreal Engine 5. If you find this useful, please do like, subscribe, and hit that bell as it really helps me out, and I really appreciate all of the support you're all giving me, so thank you for that. So here we go. As you can see here, I've got um, two characters you probably just saw, Zinx, Rumpai, and Revenant here. Now these are both from Paragon. Um, they're freebies, so they're good for testing. Um, as you can see here, they're all animated and working correctly. I've got a uh, tutorial on how to change the characters um, to your own character um, in my channel, so please do check that out. So what we've got here is, by default, if I go to Content, Characters, Cosmetics, usually we start with the Manny and Quinn um, mannequins here. Um, I've, as I say, changed those over, but for the testing purposes here, what I've done is I've left these two here. Now, when we play the game, what we've actually got is just two characters by default. Now, obviously, we want to add more character variation, or perhaps you do, or you want to add, you know, um, just a bit more uniqueness to each character. So, say, the Revenant has different coloured clothes for each one or something like that, just so it just not all looks monotonous and the same. Um, it's pretty simple to do. So, what we'll do here is, we'll again, we're going to go to Content, Characters, Cosmetics and we're going to be looking for pick random character. So we'll open that up, and what that's gonna do is that's gonna open our blueprint, and we're going to see our event graph like this. And now, what this is telling us to do, it said on begin play, so when the when the game plays, um, basically select a character between for true or false. Now, obviously, that's only two selections. We want to add more, but you know, potentially say 20. In our case, we want to add four. And you can't do that with a Boolean, because a Boolean, all that does is that just says true or false. Now, what we're going to do is if we hold Alt on the keyboard and click return value, that disconnects the pin, we can move those out of the way. Now, we can drag off the um, new part select class and type in select. This is now going to bring up a similar to window to this select window, except we're going to have this add pin. So what we can do is we can click that twice. So now suddenly we've got four variations here. Now what we want to do is select our character. So in each drop down list, we'll type in and find our characters. So Rev, um, Zinx, Man, Quinn, and that's added our characters, four characters that we have here into our blueprint here. So obviously we could add loads more if we wanted to, uh, but for the, the uh, case of this, we're only adding four. Um, so what we're then gonna do is off of this pin here, we need to search for random integer and we want to do random integer in range. And we're gonna connect that to the index. Now, what this allows us to do is this basically says between zero and whatever number we set, randomly select a number from this list, basically. Now, the reason we're using in range is because we don't want it to go higher than uh, three. So we've actually got four. So remember, everything um, generally in Unreal starts at zero. So it's never just one. It goes zero, one, two, three. And um, so you need to bear that in mind when doing your min and max ranges here. It's not, you know, by, by default, you might put four but that, uh, that's not actually the correct value. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set three. So it's gonna say from search in a range from zero to three and randomly pick a number. So what that means is that's gonna basically randomly pick one of our four characters, one of these four characters here, or not that one, four characters here, and then load it into um, Lyra. So remember to press compile and save. And then in theory, when we hit play, what that should do is that should then add our characters in. Sometimes you'll get like duplicates. You know, it is literally random. You know, for you know, for we know we could all get uh, Manny and Quinns or all get Revenants. Or so we've got one, two. Um, my gun's a bit off of a squiff there. Yeah, we see we've got two mannequins over there. Um, so then again, in theory, if we hit play again, we hopefully should get another character variation. No, my luck it be Zinx again. So here we go. There we go. So we've got Manny and Quinn. Uh, Man, well, Quinn, I think it is. And we've got a Revenant there. And we've got Zinx and a Mannequin over there. So obviously what we can do with this, we can add, you know, you could just add tons and tons of characters in here. Um, you know, and this obviously isn't really a character select. I suppose you could 
code stuff in to say, you know, if someone selects a character on the screen, it's got to select a character from this list, blah, blah, blah. And this is more just to say you want to create a, a fun little shooter where you want some different character variation in um, to obviously keep it interesting. Um, so again, if you do find this useful, please do like and subscribe and hit that bell as it really helps me. And again, I really do appreciate everybody's support um, helping me and seeing the channel sort of grow over the past sort of few months has been really uh, pleasing for me. So thank you very much for your help and cheers.